Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back as we continue to create our binary search tree project. So in this video, we're going to create a function that can add a node to our binary search tree. We're going to create two different function prototypes to accomplish this in our binary search tree.h file. So in the public section, I'm going to create a function prototype and this function is not going to need to return anything. So we'll give it a return value of void and we'll go ahead and name this function add leaf because when we add a node to the tree, we're always going to be adding a leaf to the tree. And then we just want to specify the key value that we want to be added to the tree. We're going to pass in an integer value and we're going to store it in a variable which we will call key. Then we'll end the prototype with a semicolon. And then we're just going to go ahead and copy this right here. And then up in the private section, we're going to do another prototype. So we'll do paste. And this one we're going to call add leaf private. This one we're going to go ahead and pass in a node pointer as well. So we'll do node star and we'll call our node pointer ptr. Then we'll go ahead and copy the add leaf function first. Go to our binary search tree.cpp file and then we'll create a definition for the add leaf function right here. So we'll go ahead and just paste that there for now. And I'll go back to my binary search tree.h file and I'll also copy this add leaf private function as well. And we'll go ahead and paste that one right there. First thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the binary search tree.cpp file knows that we are referencing a function from the binary search tree class. So I'll type in bst colon colon. And we'll do the same for the add leaf private function. Then we'll go ahead and just get rid of this semicolon here and open and close in curly brace and we'll go ahead and define the add leaf function in here. And all I want the add leaf function to do is I want it to call the add leaf private function. So the reason why is we want the add leaf function to be able to be called from our main.cpp file and we always want it to start at the root. So what we're going to do is when we're in our main program we only want to worry about the value that we want to insert. We don't want to worry about the location. So we're just going to make sure that every time somebody calls the add leaf function from the main program that it always starts searching for the place to add at the root. So all the add leaf function is going to do is it's just going to call the add leaf private function. It's going to pass in the key value that was passed into the add leaf function and then it will also pass in the root pointer and we'll end that with a semicolon. So from the main program we're just going to worry about what key we want to insert and the add leaf private is going to worry about searching for the right location to find that for us. So let's go ahead and define the add leaf private function. So getting rid of that semicolon here, we'll do an opening and closing curly brace and we'll go ahead and define what we want our add leaf private function to do here. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to check to see if our root pointer is pointing to anything or not. Because if the root pointer is not pointing to anything, that means our tree is empty. So we're just going to say if root equals null, that means our tree is empty. Then we're going to go ahead and make the root pointer point to a newly created leaf. And we can just go ahead and use the create leaf function that we made in the last tutorial. So we're just going to make that root pointer point to the return value of the create leaf function. And the create leaf function is going to create a leaf with the key value that we passed in right here, which originally was passed into the add leaf function. So the add leaf function is called from the main program, passes in a key value. That key value gets passed on to the add key private function, which then goes down here, which is this key value now. And that key value gets placed inside the create leaf function, which then creates a new leaf with the correct key value. And then we set that equal to the root pointer. So we'll just go ahead and end this command with a semicolon here. If the tree is not empty, then we want to figure out where we're going to place this new node in the tree. So we'll just go ahead and say else if. So at this point we're saying, okay, well the root's pointing to something already. Do we want to look down the left pointer or do we want to look down the right pointer? So we're just gonna say, okay, well, is the key value that we want to add, is that less than the key value that is in the current node that we're looking at? And if that's the case, then we realize that we want to go left, but then we need to check, well, is there a node connected to this node's left pointer? And so we'll say, if the node that we were looking at's left pointer is pointing to something, so we can accomplish that by saying not equal to null, that means that the node that we're currently looking at, its left pointer is pointing to something, then we just want to traverse down the left pointer. 
And so we can do that by recursively calling the add leaf private function. So we're going to say add leaf private, and then we just need to pass in the key value, and we're going to pass in the left pointer. And so what that will do is it will start us back at the top. The root still won't be null, so it will go back down here and it will run through these checks again. So if that's the case, if we know we need to go left, but the left pointer is already pointing to something, we're just going to recursively move down the left pointer and check again by calling this function one more time. So if the key value we want to add is less than the value of the key that we're currently looking at, but that node's left pointer is not pointing to anything, we're going to catch that case with this else statement down here. We're just going to say else, and this would be the case, the current node's left pointer is not pointing to anything. So if that's the case, this is the point where we want to add our node to the tree. So what we're going to say is we're going to say the node that we're currently looking at, we're going to make its left pointer point to a new leaf that we're going to create with our create leaf function and we want it to have a key value of the key that we were passing into our add leaf private function. So this is what we do if the key value is less than the current key value that we're looking at. If it's greater than the current value we're looking at, we're going to think about going down the right pointer of the current node we're looking at. So we'll just go ahead and copy this information and we'll paste it down here to take care of that case. So now we're saying else if our key value is greater than the key inside of the current node we're looking at, then we want to check is the current node's right pointer pointing to anything? And if it is pointing to something, we just want to recursively call the add leaf private function and we're going to pass in a pointer to the current node's right child. And it looks like I forgot to put a semicolon here and I'll need to put one here as well. So now if the key that we want to add is greater than the key inside the current node we're looking at, but it's not pointing to anything, then we're gonna catch that with the else statement. And in that case, we want to go ahead and add a new node to the current node's right pointer. So now we've taken care of the cases where the key is less than the value inside of the current node we're looking at and the case where it's greater than the current node that we're looking at. So the only other case here we'll catch with an else statement. And this is going to be the case where the key we're trying to add is exactly equal to the key inside of the current node we're looking at. And if that's the case, we just want to print a message to the screen that will say the key, and then we'll just go ahead and say what the key is by outputting the value inside of the key variable. And then we'll just say has already been added to the tree. And then we'll put a new line here and end that with a semicolon. So this should take care of adding a node to the tree now. We've covered all of our cases. We're first checking to see if the tree is empty. If that's the case, we're just going to create a brand new leaf using our create leaf function. And then we're going to make our root pointer point to that newly created leaf. If that's not the case, then we'll go ahead and take care of the other situations in this code right here. If our tree is not empty, then we're just going to compare to see if our key value that we want to add is less than or greater than or equal to the current key value we're looking at. If it's less than, we're going to look down the left pointer and check to see whether or not our left pointer is pointing to anything. If it is pointing to something, we just want to recursively try again. Same with the case where our key value is greater than the current key value we're looking at. If that's the case and our current node's right pointer is pointing to something, then we want to recursively try again by calling the add leaf private function with a pointer pointing to the right child. If the left or right pointer in either one of these cases is not pointing to anything, then this is going to be the location where we add our new leaf to the tree. This last statement right here will happen if the key value we want to add has already been added to the tree. We'll just get this output message to let us know. So I guess one last thing we wanna do, let's just go ahead and make sure I have all three of these files saved again. So we're gonna save that one, save that one, and save that one. And we'll go back to the terminal and we'll just do the g++ main.cpp command. So it looks like everything's working here so far. We've got our constructor coded, we've got a create leaf function coded, and we have an add leaf function working as well. So we've got all of those working right now. So in the next tutorial, I'll go ahead and add some nodes to the tree using our add leaf function, and I'll create a print function that will print the contents of our tree just to make sure everything's working. Stay tuned for that tutorial. We'll see you guys later. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.